it's just precisely because I'm not that guy. Right. That I, I think people need a vision for masculinity that's deeper than that. I don't even think churches know, they know like, don't be toxic, of course. But then when they try to describe what masculinity is, it's like, well, let's, let's have stakes, let's do an ax throwing event, let's like, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that, but that, sure. there's gotta be something, there's gotta be a vision for masculinity that's deeper than that. You know, as I was preparing to launch this podcast, I realized there are a ton of resources for a kind of cartoon version of men, right? Yeah. Like dripping sweat and testosterone, bare chested, big beards, cigars, and, and all these things. But it seems like there's a real hole when it comes to resources for just real biblical manhood, dads, yeah. and, and especially young men. Tell me why you decided to write these books and get into this area. Precisely for that. Well, actually, my, my show's producer, my radio show, she's a single woman, um, and she grew up with manly guys, like football players, factory workers, and whatnot. And she was shocked when she first worked with me, because I don't do any of that uh -huh. for various <laughs> reasons. Like, I'm just not, I don't have a problem with hunting, I just don't. I don't have good vision, so that's not a good prescription for fun. But um she was struck by, wait, he's got puppets. He's got an accordion in here. He plays the flute. <laughs> but when she came to our house to visit and got to know my family, she's like, but everybody in this family is so secure. Mm. And she wasn't so used to that necessarily from a man. And so she said, you should write a book about masculinity. And I would talk about it with her off the air or on the air. And it's just precisely because I'm not that guy. Right. That I, th I think people need a vision for masculinity that's deeper than that. I don't even think churches know. They know, like, don't be toxic, of course. But then when they try to describe what masculinity is, it's like, well, let's, let's have stakes. Let's do an axe throwing event. Let's like, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But that, sure. there's got to be something. There's got to be a vision for masculinity that's deeper than that. And if guys aren't given that vision, they will fall for stuff like the Andrew Tate garbage or like all sorts of mistakes. But they're not, but I can't almost blame them because they're not given a, like the actual vision that God has for masculinity that's specific and beautiful um, and life giving. So that's I, that's why I decided I should try to write the book. Yeah, well, I love that. It's it's ironic to me because I really think the majority of men, especially modern men, I don't think that cartoony vision of man is the the majority. Unfortunately, what I do see is probably as the the ages get younger we're swinging toward more and more femininity in men, which is really dangerous. But I think that among a certain generation, you just have these normal guys who need a model of biblical masculinity. This episode of Rapid Response was brought to you by CTC Math. Visit them at ctcmath.com today.